last part of Carnalitos chapter we are going to cover normal maps. We're not going to do any sculpting or any weird thing, we're just going to clone from other images, other normal maps already made, made with the, the GIMP or Photoshop or whatever, and we're just going to build our own by cloning. Yeah, it is cheating, but who cares? CG is about cheating, right? So, so the first thing we're going to need is uh, two UV layers. The first one is going to be where our is, is our main UV is where our textures are going to the, the texture we paint is going to to be there, and the second one is where we're going to clone from. So for the first one, let's uh, use a light UV map pack because it gives no overlapping faces, which is what we want. Doesn't matter if it's ugly, then it's okay for now. And the second uh, UV layer, oh first let's make an image just to be sure on the main one, a little bit bigger, name it properly and uh, add the, yeah you could bring it from another software but if, if you just input the numbers for, yeah that, for the flat uh, normal map colors, that's faster. Carnarito on map, save it. Okay. So for the second UV layer, we uh, we need just a simple unwrap. Whatever we want this uh, texture we are going to clone from uh, to be. So let's just select whatever we want our normal map to be there, like the chest, for example. I'm wrapped. We don't care about the rest of the mesh, it's okay for now. We'll just load our normal map. And I already made this on the on the GIMP. So uh, let's put it there, maybe scale it. On our material we need to set up our normal map first so we can see it in real time. Normals, yeah, there is no no change actually because uh, it's totally flat our texture, so our normal map. So that's it. Now we can start painting. We should switch to let's take it a little bit, and then we switch to the texture paint mode. Let's switch to the clone tool and enable clone layer. But we need to tell Blender which layer we are going to clone from. We do that by clicking on the little icon, texture icon there, on the layer we are going to clone from. So Blender will now clone from this layer into whatever is our active layer, which is the, the first icon on the left, that one. So now Blender will come from the second layer into the first one. So just set up a nice brush and just paint over. Nice. So we can do the same with another part of the body. Just go to the clone from layer and wrap it again. Make your normal map look good how you want it and go back to the main UV paint. No matter the view that's nice. You can go back, scale it a little bit to make some more big 
shapes there. So that way you're mixing you're using the same texture but you're mixing mixing it. So let's repeat the process for the leg. Save it just in case. You can see that how ugly the main UV looks, but on the 3D view looks okay. So that's that's more important. So let's repeat the process once more, and then we'll see now that Blender actually uses whatever is active on the on our layer, the image that is active there. Now we only have active this normal map ska snake skin, sna skin or something. But if we just switch, if we just pick another image, like I have some wrinkles image there, like that one, Blender now will clone from that layer. So now I will make this sort of wrinkles there. So this way you can mix multiple normal map images into one. You can change the size, the shape, direction, everything. Take it how you like it, then paint over only where you want. And that way you can build your own UV and your own uh, normal map as well from a bunch of them, like you can even repeat and re unwrap some parts that you already picked. This way you build your own uh, normal map from others. And of course on the Blender game engine it looks exactly the same. Whatever looks on the on the three D view, it will work on the K mention as well on GLSL, of course. So that's it.